What's up Mopar fam? Today on this episode we're replacing the outer tie rod end and inner tie rod end on a Chrysler 300C 5.7 liter Hemi with your Mopar bro at Fred Easy 21. Alright, so the tools of the trade today are a torch kit, an impact gun or a half inch breaker bar, 21 millimeter deep socket, and a 24 millimeter combination box wrench. A hammer and a pickle fork if you need one, it definitely helps. Large adjustable wrench or a pipe wrench, vice grips and pliers, a four inch belt hose clamp. All right, so first, here's the tie rod end for both the driver's side and passenger side. It takes the same procedure for both tie rod ends, so if you know how to do one side, you'll know how to do the other. All right, let's get it. First thing to do is go ahead and jack the car up. Today we have a hoist, but if you don't have one, just jack that baby up with a floor jack. Next, let's go ahead and remove the wheel. Once the wheel is off, use a 24 millimeter wrench and unscrew the 24 millimeter jam nut away from the outer tie rod end. If the jam nut won't budge, use a torch and heat that baby up for a few minutes and try again. You will eventually get the jam nut loose with enough heat. Once loose, screw the jam nut back towards the outer tie rod end until they touch. This step is just to unjam the jam nut, leaving it free. Now let's get our torch again and heat the 21 millimeter outer tie rod end nut, holding it to the steering knuckle. Heat it up for about a few minutes or so. After that, let's get our 21 millimeter deep socket and impact gun or half inch breaker bar and remove the 21 millimeter outer tie rod end nut. If it doesn't budge, continue to heat up the nut and area around it a bit more and she will eventually come out. Next, let's get our hammer and pickle fork and use them to separate the outer tie rod end from the steering knuckle. Again, if it won't budge, just keep heating the outer tie rod end a bit more and it'll eventually separate. Once loose, move the steering knuckle away from the outer tie rod end. Now with the outer tie rod end free, let's unscrew the tie rod end from the inner tie rod end while leaving the jam nut in its original position. Super important. Once the tie rod end is unscrewed and the jam nut is left in its original position, after that, use a tape measure and record the distance from the end of the inner tie rod end to the jam nut. You will need to set the jam nut on the new inner tie rod end at the same distance as the old one. Now, if the jam nut won't budge or is hard to unscrew, let's get our torch and heat the 24 millimeter jam nut for a couple of minutes. Use vice grips to hold the tie rod and unscrew the jam nut off the inner tie rod. Next, let's cut off the four inch hose clamp, securing the tie rod boot. We used an angle grinder, but <laughs> you can use pliers as well. Now with the clamp off, remove the smaller boot clamp with pliers and slide the boot off the inner tie rod end. Once the inner tie rod boot is off, let's grab our large adjustable wrench and unscrew the tie rod. You can also use a large pipe wrench. After the inner tie rod end is unscrewed, let's grab our new inner tie rod and screw it on and tighten it up with our adjustable wrench. Next, let's grab our tie rod boot and slide it back in. Throw on our four inch hose clamp, tighten that up and put the smaller clamp back on the other side. Now with the inner tie rod end fastened back on and the boot installed, let's throw on our 24 millimeter jam nut and set it to the original distance from the old inner tie rod end. Next, let's go ahead and screw on our outer tie rod end against the jam nut. After the outer tie rod end is screwed back on and into the jam nut, let's get our 24 millimeter wrench and tighten the jam nut to the outer tie rod end and place it back into the steering knuckle. Next, let's get our 21 millimeter nut and fasten the outer tie rod end to the steering knuckle using our impact gun and 21 millimeter deep socket. Now with the outer tie rod end fastened back into the steering knuckle, let's double check that the jam nut is tight up against the tie rod. Finally, install the wheel, clean up and take her for an alignment. Okay, so moving on, this process will be the same for LX platforms, Dodge Chargers, Magnums, and Challengers between the years of 2005 and 2010. It is so easy to do. If we can do it, you can too. We highly recommend using a torch kit to heat up the stubborn bolts and nuts. You can also find the instructions in the description as well, and a link to our other videos in the comments. 